Hey guys, welcome back to another video here in the shop. We are doing some repairs of the car after this past weekend at Northwest Florida Speedway, where I ended up taking my first W in a feature event. There weren't a lot of cars and a lot of the fast guys weren't there. They were out of town. So uh, kind of, I guess you can call that cherry picking, uh, but we got it done. Um, it's not that special. I mean, it is special. It's the first one, but you know, I'm, I want to win with like a full field of cars and with you know all the fast guys that are normally around here there uh, that would mean a lot more to me than this past one but just say a win is a win we did get some uh tire donuts and it kind of scraped up one of my mud covers down there but oh well it i figured i at least get like one or two more races out of the car before we ended up getting some some rubbing done but it is what it is, especially with the car count we had there. I didn't think I'd get any contact, but we did. It is what it is. Uh, but we have to repair this bracket, this chassis tab that some spring steel mounts to. That snapped off of this door here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to weld that back on. I'm not going to replace it. It's kind of broke where the weld was. So we're just going to clean up the weld that was there. And... Uh, just like I said, redo it. And that's gonna lead me to check all the other welds. Uh, this car is, like I said, it's 2010. Just check over the whole car. Kind of found some things that were wrong. Um, that just, I don't know really what caused it, but some stuff was wrong, especially in the front end. But I don't know, uh, rough tracks can do some weird things to some cars and uh, nothing looks bent. It's, nothing came loose yet. I haven't really fully nut and bolted the car. Uh, I'm expecting to find some stuff, so let's dive into it. All right, so as uh, most things go when I weld, um, I always tell y'all one thing, a little grinding and painting will make you the welder you ain't. All right, one thing we do gotta get fixed up on here is this was, this was like folded down pretty much at a 90. Took a torch to it, you know, bent it up, put some heat on it. I do have some, spare these like plastic guys but this is like the md3 one i need another dominator one they're just a little bit wider by about a half inch i tried taking a torch to this one getting it flat but you just can't i don't know i'm gonna try to run it over by truck see what that does but torch it front and back try to stand on it ain't figured that out yet but we do have surprisingly enough some good ones y'all can tell but this is this pile of junk nose well guess what that one is fine for whatever reason that is the one we're gonna be using but i ain't gonna take it off today because it is dark out and i'm gonna i'm already getting mosquitoes on we're gonna wait for tomorrow so i ran that entire race hot laps heat race main with no brakes last week we couldn't get it figured out I, we bled the master cylinder we bled the brakes all four we turned the shut off on bled them turn the shut off off bled them bled at the shut off bled the lines going up to the top the highest lines that we could find oh could find i know where they're at there i got a t-fitting in the back of here and then all my right front shut off is actually lower than the master cylinder so uh just trying to find where some air is. We couldn't get any air out. Everything looked good. I mean, take a look at that. I mean, this is this is worn out. You can't get no more worn than this without it actually leaking. I mean, there's no puddle on the ground, but she is pretty much done. But we have all that, like I said, coming in tomorrow. We're gonna do some swapping around. I have to get some stuff made up for some car and fiber products. My mom came into town today. She's gonna be in town through this whole week. She's leaving Saturday as of right now. Hopefully she can stay until through Sunday and come watch me race. She didn't see me race yet at all, besides from go-karts and stuff, but she ain't seen me racing the Mod Light or this late model.
Day now we uh, were thrashing pretty hard yesterday bleeding brakes almost swapping master cylinders have a new right rear caliper uh, I think hopefully we'll, <laughs> we'll hopefully we'll be good tonight uh, we did do that new shroud I just modified this one um, as you can see I got about half the blade in it I don't know we'll have to find out tonight if I need to um, make a new one and push it back out a little bit or, or what so uh, I do have another set of holes here and then there's a rubber bushing that I could just switch to the front slide this back and then it would be inside the fan more or the fan shroud more but like I said we'll just have to see the motor temps that we get that's pretty annoying about putting fuel in this car see, I do have that check ball there if I do end up you know having a bad night this ball will flip up and seal this off but it sucks putting fuel in let me tell you like i had to make some modifications to this we got a jimmy it down in there and uh, i can really only pour just a little stream at a time going down in there takes about i think three minutes to put five gallons of stuff stinks <laughs> Now that my arm's worn out from pumping fuel, time to put on all our hooker harness shock covers. We're gonna get them cleaned up a little better. These things are pretty awesome. Let me tell you, they are uh, a lot more durable than I was expecting. Yikes. Blue skies up that way though. Up in Florida. Questionable. We're loading in a swamp right now. It's about two inches deep in the middle. We're gonna pull her forward so we can strap her down. All right, so we made it. Got the car unloaded, t-shirts on display. Y'all want one, let me know. We got hoodies, same colors. We're ready to go. Today I did end up going to Lowe's, get some grip tape. I put it on that brake pedal there. Hopefully, get a little more grip out of it. I am blown away with how good this track looks right now. Oh my goodness. Night and day difference. I mean, look at this thing. They got it packed. I've never seen it. I mean, in a couple times we've been here since we got stationed here in Florida, this packed and smooth. I mean, this is, this is gonna be nice. Yeah, I think about right here is where I towed the car, right there on that wall. I'd much rather gone off in them trees back there. I think I would have been able to pull the car out and been fine. All right, y'all, so this is Sam. Where are you from? Uh, Defuniac Springs. Oh, Defuniac, that's yeah. down the road from us, right yes, there in you. Yeah, man. How long have you been watching us? Oh. Probably about a month. A month? I just seen you a couple months ago. Well, okay. about a month ago, yeah. Okay, what vid you watch? Yeah. Uh, Hunt in the front, Chase Holland. Okay. Anything dealing with old number seven garage. Okay. Everybody dealing with their racing. Cool, yeah I'm, yeah. I'm up there from old number seven. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got you. He's on the other side of St. Louis from me, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my brother in law turned me on to you. Okay. Watch you on YouTube, and then me and my dad run a little stinger car. Okay. But uh, yeah, dude, it's pretty cool just to. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Out here. Yeah. I see you got the Tanner collar oh, yeah. shirt on. Oh man. I follow him on TikTok. Heck yeah. Yeah, we uh we met him up in Georgia. Okay. So uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, my little girl for her 11th birthday, he gave him give her the uh, I think it was about the left front tire off his car. Oh really? Signed it and everything. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat, neat. yeah. Yeah well, 
Hey, next time I'll bring a I'll bring a door panel over for you or oh, something. Oh man, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll be awesome. uh, deep south next weekend in uh, Tri County. Yeah, we're well, we're going to watch. We're, okay. And we don't have the motor to run with them single. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I it appreciate awesome. it. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's cool to meet you. All right, yeah, take it easy. track is really slick which I kind of like um, not as far as tire consumption but as driver and uh, kind of equalizer I do like that a lot so uh, I was gonna put on a used right rear but we're gonna run what we got for the heat I made a little bit of changes but we will see I am uh, I don't know we're gonna run the heat I think I'm sorry in the back of the heat I pretty had another bad field draw thank you Courtney but we are, uh, car feel all right. It's just pretty slick. It's tight getting in and slick. So we'll see. So we think we just started third, finished third in that heat race. Uh, kind of figured it out there towards the end. Definitely entering in one way too early. So the track looks like it's the moisture's coming back up out of it. I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm just entering in one way too early, I'm blowing it. I need to get back up on top where I was in hot laps, the top middle groove we got. 
Since they got that guy, this track has been money.
was very fun. Um, six to third, a little bit of door contact, nothing, nothing major. Just kind of scuffed up the wrap, but uh, two weeks in a row in the tech shed. <laughs> Had a cool conversation with one of the tech guys down there. He actually follows me. Uh, track was really good, surprisingly. Uh, went from dry slick kind of when we got here. Sun went down, moisture came back up. Still three and four, there's a hole, which kind of miss it, but it's kind of hard to. And then one and two, there's still that hole going in there. But we're running up higher to avoid them, and the car was working pretty good. Like, uh, I'm not going to say it's as good as the other car. I'm pretty, I'm going to say they're pretty much comparable. So maybe we can get a little faster with some other setup changes next week. I think we might be at Deep South on Friday. Uh, but definitely Tri-County on Saturday. But we're gonna load up here. Courtney is uh, trying to get the heck out of here. We're gonna scrape some off the car and load it up and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching.